Hello everybody, it's Rhino and I am here at the Pixar Place Hotel at the Disneyland Resort because I want to show you something today. If you look behind me at this mural here very closely, you're going to see a little Joe Gardner here and just right next to him you'll notice it's another Disney snack attack. Today I am going to take you downstairs into the lobby to check out the Sketch Pad Cafe. Now that is the Pixar Place Hotel's version of Starbucks, so it's got uh, an espresso bar, a lot of coffee drinks, pastries, grab and go stuff, all of that sort of things. I'll show you that when we get down there. But before we head on down, I want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation, and when you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip, and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce here. So check them out, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com, and a big shout out to our Patreon supporters. We couldn't do it without you. If you want to learn how you can get uh, some more exclusive content from different members of the Diz team, you can head over to patreon.com slash Diz Unlimited today. Now that I have said all of that, I am pretty hungry. The thing about the Sketchpad Cafe is it does open fairly early. If you're at this hotel, you're gonna to wanna to search to just double check the times, cause I don't know if they fluctuate or anything like that. But I do believe it opens around like 6 a.m. and it's open throughout most of the day. And it's a pretty area. And rather than talk to you about it in the room, we're gonna head on downstairs and go meet Hannah and try out a couple of things. So come on. Like I said in the opening, this is the hotel's version of Starbucks. So you can find a lot of uh, items like an espresso bar. There's build your own brew down here, um, which is, you know, you can do regular decaf or cold brew coffees with those. I'm sure they're hot or cold. There's, um, you know, there's tea options. There's a section of like heat and run and uh, they have a bakery case as well as some prepared items. Now for me, I am not a big coffee drinker. So I thought I would try uh, one of the teas, and I got something I've never had before, which is a London Fog. Now this is Earl Grey steamed milk and vanilla syrup. It's served hot only, and it is $6. I opted to do oat milk instead of uh, steamed milk because I don't want to take chances on dairy when I'm getting on an airplane later today. Uh, but. I actually think this is really good. I know this isn't unique to the hotel. This is a drink that already pre-existed, but you know, I, I've never had it before. And the tea with like the oat milk and then the little bit of vanilla, it's really like a nice blend. I could see myself being one of these people that drinks fancy teas from time to time. Um, now, in terms of the offerings in like the heat and run section, there was, uh, there's, Listed on the menu, there's avocado toast, mini frittatas, pizza bagels. There's also, um, you know, some pre-prepared stuff. Like there's like a chicken salad sandwich. There were some grab and go boxes um, and, and things like that. And of course there's like beverages and everything like that. It's legitimately like when you walk up to the Starbucks, you know, they have all the drinks right in the front there. Um, we went with two items from the heat and run section. I wanted the avocado toast, but they were out of it, so I think there was a run on avocado toast this morning. So we got a mini frittata. There are three options for this. There's veggies and egg whites, meat lovers, cheese and eggs, and those are $12. We went with the veggies and egg whites, and I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was like bad necessarily. Um, it did feel like it was sort of that thing where you bite into it and there was like a lot of moisture, so it felt like it was holding on for dear life almost to stay together, which, you know, could be true of egg whites in general, but um, I thought it could have used maybe a little bit of like hot sauce on it or something, but that's that's preference and, and all of that. But for $12, I didn't really think this was worth it. Um, we did also get a pizza bagel, which comes in both cheese and pepperoni for $10. And I thought it was just gonna be one half of the pizza bagel, but it was the full bagel. And I have to tell you, this was actually, it, I enjoyed this very much. It is a no thrills pizza bagel. It's very standard sauce with the cheese and the pepperoni, but I love a pizza bagel and it has been forever since I've had one. And when I was a kid, this is kind of, we did, we did, um, you know, pizza, English muffins sometimes. It was kind of like whatever was around the house, we ate that. Um, so it was very nostalgic for me and fun, and I feel like it does kind of fit the vibe of the hotel. This is also an item that you can get up at the pool bar, so this is something where I'd be like, you know what, if I was coming in and I just wanted like a, a snack, like that I could share with somebody maybe because, you know, each can have a half of this and then getting a drink, I'd, I'd do that up there at the pool bar, I think. Um, or, you know, down here, but there are just so many delicious uh, items at uh, in the Disney par Disneyland parks that it's like it's tough to be like oh go out of your way to get this this is just sort of like if you're at the hotel and you're feeling a little peckish um, 
Another item that we got that isn't necessarily specifically listed on the main menu is um, this coconut chia pudding for $14. I, I swear this was at Great Maple. I could be wrong. And then I think it's also at the pool bar. But um, it is served in this like plastic mason jar, which is funny to me that they're served in this mason jar because the straws are made out of like, I forget. It was like a, something to do with emissions and everything like that. But like we can't have real plastic straws, but we're just going to give people these plastic cups to be served like this. It is wrapped in a Pixar like sticker. So my guess is this sticker is only temporary and eventually... Maybe it'll be like printed on here and then you've got yourself like a little souvenir. That would be nice. Um, there is a part of me where I'm kind of like want to scoop this out and keep the lid because I love a little, I love a little plastic jar like this. They're great for like sangria or leftovers or things when you want to bring to the office. But there's just so much, there's so much in here still. Um, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I thought it was very plain tasting. I didn't really get a lot of the coconut. I felt like there was too thick of a layer of stuff in here. And, and whenever it's like things are left in containers like this, I feel like they immediately get a little bit stale. It's like that same feeling with overnight oats and stuff like that. I don't know. I get that this was maybe like a health option, but at what cost? Now, I think, oh, I have one more item. I'm sorry, I was gonna turn it over to Hannah. Hannah, give me a second, please, please calm down. Um, we did want to get something from the bakery area and we got a brownie, which was a pretty fairly substantial, like puck size, bigger than a hockey puck brownie. Um, that was $5 and uh, it's not it's not bad. The inside, it's, it is very dense. Um, the inside is, um, you know, is, is, so the outside feels like it's got sort of the crust on it and then the inside is almost like brownie batterish, but a little more firm than that. It reminds me of when my mother would make brownies. Like, you know, homemade brownies kind of get that edge around it. It feels like that. And then the center is like the brownie part. So um, for five bucks, I really don't think it's a bad value, but it isn't, it's not a knock your socks off brownie. Now, Hannah, what did you think of the food items? So I think this is my third time coming down here in the morning and getting um, like maybe a pastry or coffee. I was a little disappointed they didn't have your uh, make your own brew this morning. And why I love that is you can get rainbow sprinkles on it and it just looks and feels like you're staying in a Disneyland hotel. But um, I actually enjoyed, they made me an iced latte and it was their seasonal mint chocolate chip flavor. And normally I wouldn't go for that, but I was like, you know what, I'll be adventurous. And actually it's pretty good. It tastes like a, a Girl Scout Thin Mint cookie. So the coffee here is okay, but um, like I don't think it's as good as Starbucks maybe. Um, the cold brew is a little bit bitter. That's usually like what my go-to coffee order is. But it's right here in the lobby, so you know, doesn't get better than that. For food, I gotta tell you, I think the pizza bagel was my favorite. Was it anything other than a pizza bagel? No, but I mean, a pizza bagel is a pizza bagel. Um, the good thing here is it's, it is a full-size bagel, you know, obviously two, two halves of it. Um, so yeah, that's like a splittable thing. I think like if you were here and we're like, I am so hungry, I just need to like get a snack. This would be something to like hold you over. Um, other than that, the frittata was just okay. Um, I mean, I do appreciate that it's egg white and veggie. It's probably the healthiest thing I'm gonna eat all day today. Obviously filling as well. Um, I gotta say, so we got a brownie and um, it looks pretty impressive. It has like powdered sugar and caramel and it's like big and dense and like it was me. It was very dense, but like in a dry way. Um, it wasn't like, I felt like I was really having to like chew to get through it. It also like, um, not that I don't love this, but kind of like remind me of like a little Debbie brownie a little bit, something about like the texture, the flavor in the middle of the brownie, but whatever. Um, I didn't try the chia seed uh, pudding just cause it has nuts in it. Um, and I got a little allergy, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking it had more potential. It's a big serving, so there's that. Um, I do love that you can get coffee here before walking over the parks, cause you know, mama needs her coffee before she goes over to Disneyland. But um, yeah, come for the pizza bagel, come for the, um, the glittery coffee. Well, there you have it. That is gonna do it for this Disney snack attack at the Sketchpad Cafe. Uh, I do, again, think this isn't necessarily like a go out of your way area, but I do really, really like the area itself. Like they have these really colorful, fun sketches of the characters all around everywhere. There's nice seating, there's a TV um, showing some Pixar shorts and movies and stuff. And 
yeah, I like I like the vibe. It fits in very, very well here. So it's a nice area to come and work or just hang out if you just got to the resort or you know, you're know you leaving later in the day and you don't have a park ticket or something like that, you can set up shop over here. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section of this. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And of course, don't forget about Dreams Unlimited Travel when planning your next Disney vacation. Thank you again to all of our Patreon supporters out there. We couldn't do it without you. That is gonna do it for me. I need to run upstairs and go finish packing. I don't want to leave. I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a great day. Yummy, yummy.